Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to use Discord. Now I'm sure you've heard me mention hey join my Discord community or you've heard other YouTubers say join my Discord server or maybe some weird geeky friend sent you a link to a Discord community or you joined it and you're wondering how the fuck do I use this app. Anyway, it's easy. It's not difficult. It's easy peasy. Okay. So, <clears throat> like I've said, Discord is a community app, like it's just a chatting app. There's a lot of things, as you can see, these sections, these voice channels here. This is an example of a good voice channel. It was to tune in to what this guy is streaming. He's streaming for Horizon. It's a new game. Other people are watching and they're chatting as well. But because I'm recording, <clears throat> I'm going to get to that in a minute. Okay. So, uh, where do you find Discord? Just search it on your browser. If you're on, uh, if you're on your phone, go to Play Store, search for it. You should be able to find it. For me, um, I already searched for it, and it's here, as you can see. Um, it's available anywhere: iPhone, iMacs, whatever. You'll find it. Okay. For your desktop, I just recommend downloading the app. It's much more better than using it on your browser. But for my case, I'll have to use it on my browser because I'm using a test account to make this tutorial. Okay. <clears throat> now, once you've signed up, um, once you've downloaded it, or once you've uh, joined, on, uh, like you've downloaded it on your phone and on your computer, you just have to sign up. Now, it's going to ask you to verify. Don't worry, it's going to ask you for a phone number. It's not that it's doing anything with your phone number. It's just verifying it's you. It's the same thing as just verifying your Google account with your phone. Like, hey, someone is logging in to your Google account. Your phone pops up. It's the same kind of thing. It's only that this is going to send you an SMS. Now, this is important because because discord was generally built ground up for geeks and nerds you find these very smart people with malicious intents so people with hacking abilities are common on discord who send you fishy fishy links which is something you should not be doing but I will, i'm going to explain that more okay <clears throat> so just verify your email verify your phone number for me i had already did that and uh in the first tutorial so i cannot do it again but I already, I already did that, okay? Once you've done all that shebang that is uh, to be done when you're new to Discord, uh, it's just going to bring you here. On your desktop, it's going to bring you here. And uh, most probably what it's going to do is uh, it's going to pop up this window on your desktop. On your phone, I think it's going to bring you here. But once you click on the plus sign, um, it's also going to bring this. Now, it's going to tell you add a friend. Now, the way you add friends on Discord, um, if you're already on a server, it's easy. It's just a matter of if someone is not your friend, it's a matter of, uh, can I find someone here to show you? It's a matter of just typing or tapping on their, on their profile and saying send friend request. Okay. <clears throat> now this varies. Some people have disabled like me because I'm a, an admin for a server. So I tend to get weird friend requests, but I've disabled it. Okay. But if you're not in a server, it's going to be difficult because someone needs to actually send you their friend id which is something that i've tried and sometimes it doesn't work okay and generally i prefer you join using links okay now in this case i'm going to show you using my server link for the 254 millennial talk so as you can see when i pull up my instagram page there is a link here and i think also on youtube it's linked on the videos section let me just open my youtube give me a sec uh I'm going to mute that because that is usually loud. So let's just say in case like this video, okay? <clears throat> Most cases, YouTubers will leave the link somewhere here. I think it's also here. As you can see, this is the link to my Discord community. So if I was to copy this link for you, for me, I have to copy because I'm using Discord on my browser. For you, just tap on the link. If you're on your phone, it's going to open the Discord app. Same case, if you're on your computer and you've already installed the Discord app, it's going to also open the Discord app either on your browser or on your phone. In this case, I'm just going to copy the link and I'm going to say on your phone or on your sa on your computer, go to join friend on Discord. Copy paste. For me, I'm just going to copy and paste uh, the link there. I'm going to say join, which um, hmm, I think I copied the wrong link. Okay, so let me go and do that again sorry uh copy link copy copy link what's up uh let's open my not my not add friend let's open this join friend or server invite link again you don't have to do this because for you i'm assuming it's going to 
Hmm, and I think I think this link is dead. Hmm, I might have to change that. But let me copy this one from here. I don't know why it's not working. Let's try this again. It's just I'm facing some minor hiccups. Okay, so let me say join. Okay, now it's going to bring you to a page like this, which is also it's going to do the same case even on your desktop. So as you can see, it's going to tell you what the server is about and whoever invited you. In this case, I'm the one who created the link, so that's why it's saying bloody underscore actor, which is my other username. As you can see, it's telling you, do you want to join the Millennial Talk? So I'm going to say um, accept invite. And once you do that, um, now for my server, you might get a message, okay? Now for you to access your messages, as you can see, tap on your phone, that is, tap on these three dashes there and it's going to open up so this is where you see your servers here these are your friends generally if you click on a server you're going to see the server sections but when you click on this big box up here just that shows you the direct messages there is a bot on my server called the me e6 bot it's like basically a user it's like a code running as a user so it's going to send you like a welcome message welcome to the 254 million you talk this server comprises so blah 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 so on your desktop same case if you already you don't have to join it twice you if you've already joined on your from your phone or if you've already joined from your desktop it's still going to be the same thing on your desktop for you to find your messages you just click on home and as you can see direct messages friends and you should see okay and i had already joined that's why you see these messages here before okay so if i was to go back to the server let's go back to our phone because i assume most people are going to be using this code on their phone Oh, the person I'm recording this tutorial, the person who made me record this tutorial is on her phone, I think. Okay. So yeah, you're going to be brought here. As you've seen, if you click on this and if you click on your server, you're going to see a lot of things. Already you can see there is, there is sections, there's an event there. Generally, this is where I host my live show. Um, I'm going to say maybe interested, okay? This is where I host my live show. This is where we sit down and communicate with other members. So these are sections. Welcome is going to give you links to other servers. In this case, as you can see, there is my other server there. This is like the Kenya one. This is blah, 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 nod, nod, nod. And generally, you join Discord server using those links that people send you or people have linked somewhere. It's alternatively, even if you search like Kenyan Discord servers, you'll find a couple of links. So just click on them and they will open those servers automatically. So as you can see, there is the rules, um, there is server rooms. Uh, and uh, when you tap on these server rooms, uh, they just take you to those specific sections. But then these server rooms are good. If you have, if you find a server with such sections, they're good because they are like shortcuts that even tell you what those rooms or those chat rooms do. In this case, maybe what books? school stuff as you can see this is a chart for school stuff which is down here so just explore those things okay now the ones you see with the hashtag are text channels okay the ones you see with this speaker are voice channels okay and it's the same case on your pc you can see everything okay i just have to keep on going back on the emulator because it's easier to explain uh because i assume for the phone for the phone some things are hidden so but on your PC, you'll get everything straight, okay? So, um, to join a voice channel, okay? It's just a matter of clicking or, or tapping on the voice channel. In this case, I'm just going to join just chilling, okay? On your phone, as you can see, it's going to tell you join voice. If you click on your PC, it's just going to join automatically without asking you anything, okay? So, if I say join voice, you see? I have joined and as you can see if you're on your phone it's going to show you also on your other device where you've joined but on the other device it's going to be grayed out meaning that you're as you can see it's even telling you connected in from another client okay your microphone is probably going to be on and it's going to use the microphone on your phone probably use earphones because um if other people are talking and they are on loudspeaker you they might probably hear themselves so a good thing is to enable noise suppression by clicking those three dots there okay i don't know why it's buggy but uh, let's click that again okay noise suppression okay so this just means it's going to try and suppress the noise and uh from here you can see a couple of functionalities you can turn on your webcam you can screen share your phone so if you screen share your phone um again i don't know why this app is buggy Mobile screen sharing. Let's say try out. Try it out. Discord will start capturing. Blah, blah, blah. Start now. And now, 
if another user was to join if another user was to join uh, that boy's channel they are going to see your phone okay so let me show you with another account okay so i'm just going to join okay and when you join and start sharing something on your when you join and start sharing something it's going to show it's going to show other members that you're live you see it's showing me that oh someone is live so if i say watch stream i'm i'm going to um as you can see i'm going to see my phone okay now i'm seeing your phone i mean that is if you are sharing okay so i'm just going to turn off this screen sharing for a minute there yeah? so let's uh, let's disconnect give me a sec and those are the sounds for disconnecting and connecting so i'm just going to tap on this voice channel again i'm going to stop this and uh maybe again uh you can press back just tap back it should take you back and uh you can see whoever's like when someone joins the voice channel you'll see them here under a list you can mute your microphone like that it's a simple you can also mute your sound if you mute this um Oh no, this is not the mute. This will sh this is telling you do you want to listen through your phone or do you want to listen through your speaker? This one is for disconnecting from a voice channel. Alternatively, an admin can kick you out. Okay. So, and those are the sounds. So when you hear those sounds, that just means someone has joined, someone has left. You're just going to get used to them. Okay. Uh yeah, and that's just the whole shebang. Okay. On this other side of the screen, when you swipe towards this side. These are the members okay now this not all servers look like this this is just my server and i've organized it like this so this is me this is like uh my moderators this is a bot by the way you which you can message okay so if you tap on the bot which works the same way with other users as well so if you tap on someone and you want to send them a message you can see you can call them or send them a message for me you can't because i've disabled it again i'm an admin so uh if you try and message me it's going to tell you something so let me just say hey it's going to tell you hey message cannot be delivered because i'm disabled okay so for me you can't okay i'm just going to go back and uh let's try this again eh? maybe try messaging the bot if you want some help like hey i'm stuck hey bot i'm stuck oh wave let me just wave instead okay and as you can see, <laughs> now this bot is automated to send you this, hey you, and it's saying, hey, 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 if when the admin or the moderator see your message, they'll reply. And if I was to go on my Discord channel, let me just reply to you and say, hey, back. Hello. Hello, testy tester. <laughs> okay. I think it's going to be a hassle. <laughs> Give me a sec. I don't know. Is it, yeah, I don't know why this 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 seems funny. <laughs> anyway, let's just say hey back. And as you can see, uh, if you check your inbox, uh, I think the bot replied to you. As you can see, I told you hey. <laughs> why is it saying invalid user? <laughs> That's weird anyway hey okay anyway that's that okay so that's where you check your messages uh when you have friend requests so uh let me send you a friend request okay so that you can see oh let me first show you how you send before i send you okay so if i was to go back to my server let me just go back to kasheshe or uh, general chat okay uh if you want to send someone a friend request maybe someone reply to you if you tap on their username uh for, at first it's going to add them here okay but i think this one is this guy on the server hmm. oh you need to hold okay on your phone you need to tap and hold okay so if you tap and hold i think it's the same thing as just right clicking on your computer so if i was to go to general chat and right clicking it's going to show me add friend and all these kinds of things okay 
So if you say if you tap and hold on your phone, if you right click on your computer, you see the option to add friend, and that's how you add friends. But in this case, like I said, you can't add me as a friend because I've disabled it, unfortunately. But um, if you join, if I if you join, if you watch this tutorial and manage to join. Uh, just tell me and I'll add you. Okay, so I'm just going to add. Uh, I'm going to send Testy Tester a friend request. Uh, and as you can see, if you have a friend request, you will see that that will pop up. Okay, so if you go to your messages there and swap towards your left, um, is it towards your left or is it? Wait, how how do you see friends on your phone? Hmm. Oh, oh, here, down here, down here. Sorry, as you can see, it's telling you. Um, you can even sync your contacts if you want to. I see. Um, I did not see that one. But if you tap on that arrow, if you tap on that checkbox, we are now friends. Okay. And now you can message me and tell me, hey, what's up? How are you doing? And all that kinds of things. And yeah, I did talk about screen sharing and voice chats. Okay. And all these other things. But uh, maybe let me talk about the last cool thing about Discord. Okay. And, um, um, hmm. You can listen to music. Oh, yeah, that's the thing I was looking for. So depending. Now, this is more of... Uh, this depends with... Um, and it's a good thing I brought this up. This depends with the bot. Every bot has its own sets of commands to summon it, okay? So I'm going to tap back, okay? And uh, again, on your computer, it's going to be relatively easy. It's just a matter of... If you want to cancel a call, you'll see the options down here. So let me just join on my computer so that I can show you, okay? You'll see the option here, okay? Disconnect. Share screen, video, straightforward. This will deafen you, like you won't be able to hear anything. And all these kinds of stuff, okay? And I'm going to just say hello. Let me just mute that. Let me reconnect back on my phone. Let's just go to just chilling. Join voice. Uh, let's do this, eh? So, if I was to go to like something like uh, music commands, generally you can type anywhere, but it's good to respect every section with its own use. So, music request, you can see what other users were using to pull up uh, music commands. In this case, um, hmm, there's this song I was listening to earlier, okay? And the command I'm going to use to summon a bot to a voice channel so that we can listen to music uh is 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 dot okay i'm going to say uh let me i'm going to just paste this to make it easier let me just say dot play and say naked okay and now if you see as you can hear there's uh music coming in. okay and i'm uh, where is it just tap and hold I probably reduce the volume like that okay so you don't want <laughs> Damn, it was loud. I did not expect it to be that loud. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, that's how you manage the volume for other users. Some people have noisy mics and some people have very uh, high volumes. So if you tap and hold, you can see, if you scroll down, you can see the option for volume to even mute a person. If I mute, you can hear, you can no longer hear the other user. Okay. And uh, it's the same case on your PC, but on your PC, it's just right-clicking. When I say tap and hold on your phone, it just means right-clicking. If I right-click on a user, you see user volume, mute, block. You just have more options on your computer, okay? Is it the same case on your phone? Let me let me check. Maybe you do have the same options also on your phone. Uh, hmm, some of them are hidden. But, uh, yeah basically that's how that's discord in a nutshell okay and if another person wants to join the voice channel he or she will hear the music as well okay that's the coolest thing that i like about uh discord like the music and you could do more stuff more advanced things like linking your account to let me just uh, mute this uh let's mute this bot like linking your account to Spotify, I think you do that by going to, let's just tap back. I think when you go to your, tap back again, I think when you go to your account, I'm, go, I'm, not, I'm not going to go because I show, I, I think I, I saw that it's showing my phone number. Okay, it has stopped showing my phone number. It was showing me previously. But if you tap here, it's going to take you to your user settings. You can change your profile picture. You can even change your... I don't know, how do you change your dist? Oh, yeah, you can set status to maybe you don't want to be disturbed. Uh, click that, scroll down. 
Why is it not scrolling? Maybe I can change it to not disturb or invisible if you want to hide yourself from people seeing that you're online. Uh, you can do something like connections. This is what I was talking about. Now, if you add like a connection, you can connect uh, Facebook, but who the fuck wants to connect Facebook? Maybe connect Spotify, Steam, and the good thing, or maybe YouTube. Oh, you could connect YouTube. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, this is why. This is why I see people watching videos and they, you know, it displays. You can set it to display activities. It displays sometimes what you're doing if you've linked. So in this case, maybe if I was to play something like, uh, let me play Spotify, you know. This song's too loud. And I'm going to mute it, of course, because of, uh, you know, copyright and all these things. But, uh, hmm. I don't know. I might have to... You know it's saying uh playing Nox player. Can I huh, okay let 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 me try and turn off activity so that you can see what I mean. Because I can't turn off Nox player because I'm using it to record. So let me just show you. And this tutorial is panning out to be a very long one, eh? Very, very long one. Let's see. Uh huh. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, um, activity status, okay, let's turn it off, it's, it's still on, what, no, on Discord it's, oh my god, what the hell am I doing? Okay, it's a, I've managed to do it. Okay, so let me go back to Discord, eh? And oh, I show you what I mean. Let me go back to this and go back to the servers. Uh, as you can see, if you like link it to something like Spotify, it can show you what I'm listening to and even the music, um, the minute, the exact minute. Okay, it's just a cool option. I just find it cool because uh, it's it's an easier way for discovering people. If you have Spotify Premium, you can even listen along. Where like I can DJ, I can DJ you, like you can DJ my playlist, okay? And uh, I think also when you slide from your Android, you can also see the option to mute and all these things, okay? Yeah, and that's Discord in a nutshell. I think I just made this tutorial so long. But uh, yeah, you guys will tell me. If you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments section. And I hope this will help you navigate and have fun around Discord. So... Yeah, be sure to join. Come say hi if you want to say hi. For me, I'm just going to go back and watch. Uh, and I can hear. I see he has stopped streaming. But I'm just going to go back and um, have and uh, just talk to my friends. Okay, so see you in uh, the next one.